Recognizing the member from Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, in my uh, constituency of Vancouver Point Grey, uh, Madam Chair, we have a very unusual area known as Electoral Area A, which is where UBC is located. Uh, there are a number of different neighborhoods there, the university neighborhoods, uh, uh, the endowment lands, and the UBC student groups themselves. Um, recently, the, uh, this is uh, the point of all this, is that it's provincial jurisdiction uh, and responsibility for the infrastructure and transportation infrastructure uh, out at UBC. Um, by which I mean roads. And recently, uh, the Ministry of Transportation in installed a roundabout at uh, 16th and Westbrook Mall uh, that everyone agrees is unsafe for children. Uh, and the Ministry of Transportation wouldn't have done this uh, if they'd just come to the community and asked the University Neighborhoods Association, what do you think about this plan? Uh, now, the Ministry of Transportation is involved in an expensive retrofitting scheme, putting in lights and contact pads and these kinds of things to try to fix it. Uh, the neighbors are still concerned that it's not going to be fixed and they're calling for little islands between the two lanes so that the cars can see the kids uh, as they go through the roundabout. Um, so uh, what I'm, I'm asking, Madam Chair, is, uh, is pretty straightforward. The minister's been given a very clear mandate to save money, uh, to be wise with taxpayer funds. Uh, and it seems to uh, the people in my constituency that uh, the smartest use of taxpayer funds is to consult before installing uh, new infrastructure or replacing existing infrastructure, uh, and in particular to consult with uh, the only body there representing the university neighbourhoods, which is the University Neighbourhoods Association, or whatever body replaces it. And so my question to the Minister is quite simple. Will the Ministry uh, consult with the University Neighbourhoods Association, the University Endowment Lands Group, the Alma Mater Society, and UBC, all of them, uh, before installing new transportation infrastructure or replacing existing infrastructure. And this means physically going to the community, showing them the plans, getting feedback, and then incorporating that feedback. Thank you, Madam Chair.
Minister. Thank you, uh, Chair. Uh, to the, the member for uh, Vancouver Point Grey, thank you for your question. Um, uh, the, the short answer is, is yes. Um, we, uh, we are committed to uh, ensuring that there's uh, every uh, uh, effort made to consult with uh, all of the stakeholders uh, in, a, in electoral area A. Um, I, I, I'm sure the member is aware that uh, UBC held uh, a, a meeting recently on March 18th. Uh, to discuss uh, the roundabout and a number of other related pieces. And uh, from my understanding is that that meeting was very, uh, uh, very well attended and very well received. Um, based on, on the feedback from uh, the various stakeholder groups, uh, again, as the member I'm sure is well aware, uh, you know, we, there has been a, a focus on improving uh, safety uh, on uh, uh, the 16th Avenue, uh, including reducing the speed limit from 60 kilometers to 50 kilometers. Uh, so uh, my, my point here is I, th I think the, the relationship at, at, at this point is in a good place and, and uh, to keep it there, uh, we need to ensure that uh, appropriate consultations continue to be at the centerpiece of uh, any decisions that are made that affect uh, the, the, the stakeholders in electoral uh, area A within the members' riding.